is Lisa Lyman with Cascadia Study Abroad. I wanted to tell you about an amazing program that we have every fall quarter that goes to Tokyo in Japan. Um, this program, we've run it for over a decade. It's such a great opportunity. It's always really popular. Uh, you definitely want to apply probably before the deadline uh, because it sometimes fills up. So this program, you're in Tokyo, but Tokyo is such a huge city. Um, really where you are is the, um, uh, I don't know how to speak Japanese, but it's the Hachioji province um, at Kagakuen University. So we partner with this university. They um, give us the classroom space. The local students come and meet us, welcome um, students on this program. But the classes you're taking are going to be um, three classes, uh, taught by local um, uh, Green River College instructors, as well as one class taught by local faculty too. So uh, you don't have to worry about speaking Japanese. There's no requirement to speak Japanese on this program. Um, you'll be taking a digital photography class, which I think is the one of the best classes that you could take for study abroad because you're going to go all around the city, um, take amazing pictures as part of your class assignments, and then you'll get to show off those pictures when you go home with your family and friends. Um, so digital photography, the other class, it's a creative writing class. It's actually an online class, um, again, taught by Green River faculty. We have a computer lab at the um, Japanese University, so you have time to, you know, do the assignments and uh, that sort of thing, but this frees up your um, some of your afternoons where you can actually join a student club at Kagakuen University, which is amazing. Uh, you'll be with, um, get to experience some of the clubs that local Japanese students join. Um, I've seen photos especially from a local archery club, um, so really great opportunities there. The third class that you're taking, it's a Japanese language and culture class. It's not, it's not like five credits of Japanese, it's just a humanities, like a regional studies class. Um, so part of the time you'll be just learning about Japanese culture, um, but then the other part you will have some Japanese language instruction. We usually split the class, so um, if you've studied Japanese before, you'll be in one group, and then if you've never studied Japanese before, you'll be in the beginner group. So um, something for everybody, depending on your language level. And then with this program, um, your housing, you'll be in student apartments, just a little bit off campus. Um, sort of shared apartments where um, maybe like between four to six students will all be um, like your own rooms, but then you're sharing kitchen and bathrooms and living space. Um, so you'll get really close with some of your roommates while you're there. Um, this program, like I mentioned, such a great partnership with, that we have with this local university that um, more than some of our study abroad programs, I think you'll really get to um, interact with and meet the local, um, the local students while you're there, which if that's something that you're interested in, that'll be really amazing. Um, like I was mentioning, I mean, Tokyo is such a big place, so definitely on this program, um, some of the activities and excursions will get you out, out um, seeing different parts of the city, uh, going to some museums for your photography class, going to see some different temples and shrines. Um, so a lot of, lot of really great things to see while you're in Japan. And you have the opportunity as well, kind of a little bit of a break in the middle, where you can do some independent travel, um, like if you're wanting to go to see Mount Fuji, uh, that sort of thing. This program, um, so the application is due in June. Um, like I mentioned, sometimes it fills up because it's so popular, so I do recommend that you apply early um, if this is one that you really want to go to. Again, we, we do offer this program every fall, so if it doesn't work one year, maybe it'll work the next year. Just save up, um, so for this one, it'll be 15 credits of humanities or electives, so save those up on your um, kind of education degree requirements. And uh, this is just such an amazing opportunity to, to get out, uh, get over into Asia, learn about the Japanese culture, um, and make some great uh, local Japanese friends too. So if you're interested in applying, um, same as all of our study abroad programs, it's the preliminary application first. You can get that on the Cascadia website or the um, Wixa website. I'll put both of those on the screen below here. You can also just stop by my office. Um, I'm in CC1040 in the International Programs Office. So I hope, I hope to see you apply for this program. It's such a great opportunity. Students are always showing me the pictures uh, from this program and I always get really jealous. So 
<laughs> I hope to see your application. Thanks guys, bye.